If you are struggling with an addiction, I want to share a story from my personal experience. When I was single, many years ago, living in a one bedroom apartment, it was a really small place. I didn't have anything in there except for a couch bed. And a brother asked me, may he live with me? All he had to himself was a garbage bag with some clothes and a few belongings. Now I was raised to help people in need because people helped us. Where I come from, it was a low income neighborhood. We lived in a section eight apartment and there were times we received assistance from people in many different ways, food, clothing, money, and so I was taught to help people because it may be you that need help one day. So when he requested to live with me, I said yes. But there was one catch to this story. He was addicted to crack cocaine. Now let me say something to you. First of all, I don't judge people because they sin differently than I do. We all have some form of addiction some bad habits, something we need to change. So I don't judge people. I embrace people and help them to get better. Secondly, I have been around people in my former neighborhood who use drugs recreationally, smoke trees, got a bump occasionally from cocaine, but I never lived with them. So that's, that's different. I had to make a decision after I learned that he had that addiction whether or not I wanted him to be my roommate. The better part of me, the, the grace-filled part of me, the spirit-filled part of me said, help him, Stephen. Help him. My friend gave me permission to share this, by the way, so I'm not just putting his business out there because his life did take a turn for the better. He ultimately went on to be a leader at a major corporation and one of the things that I love about him is that he didn't forget where he came from and how he overcame he now helps individuals who are drug users on the job but they want to keep their job instead of judging them condemning them terminating them he helps them to get recovery to get help, to get assistance. So that's my guy, you know, that's what it's about. So what are the three things I wanna share with you? Number one, obviously you can't judge a person. When I say judge a person, I'm saying you can't condemn them for their behavior. It's a hard thing to do. I know, you look at a person and their decisions, their choices led them to do what they're doing. But here's what I learned. We all are dealing with three things in life, three types of pains, unhealed hurt, unmet needs, and unresolved conflict. And it manifests itself in different ways. And so some people, when they're dealing with stress, they find an outlet to relieve that pain by using drugs. Let's just use that as an example. Or they choose to do something else. Like I have another brother in, in my life that I'm encouraging and supporting his choice is pornography I know many brothers that are dealing with different things and what I'm saying to you is that you can't judge them you can't condemn them for their behavior because there's a reason for why they do what they do and they never decided you know I'm going to be an addict I'm going to use this substance and ruin my life and my family's life they didn't decide that okay so you can't be a judge that's obvious right but for some of us I hate to say it we judge people as though we don't have an issue as though we can't fall as though we don't make any mistakes as though we are not addicted or have never been addicted you got to think about the person that you're trying to help and what they really need so the second thing I want to share with you is that you got to help them to see that they're not their mistakes. A lot of times we define ourselves 
based on our mistakes because our mistakes are a reflection of our decisions. Our decisions lead to actions and the results are due to our choices, right? And so we create this image of ourselves based on that mistake and we define ourselves based on that mistake and we live up to that image. Why do we do that? Because we all act out of our imagination based on the mental image we have of ourselves. And if we define ourselves based on our mistakes, then we will continually perpetuate that mistake. It's just a vicious cycle. You can't define yourself by your mistake. You cannot allow whatever you did that is wrong or horrible or whatever you're doing right now, you can't let that be the narrative of your life. I know it's hard. Trust me. I've witnessed it. My friend, when we were living together, I was his last resort. His family and close friends, they exhausted all their means and resources to help him. And he betrayed their trust. He let them down. And so now he needed someone to support him and I was that person. And so I had to think differently. I said, well, I'm sure they told him he needs to stop what he's doing, what he's doing. He needs to change himself. He needs to stop making the same mistakes. So, and I'm sure they critically expressed their displeasure and none of those things work. Now, I'm not taking the responsibility off of him, but what I told myself, I have to do something different. I have to change in order to help him to be the person that he was truly meant to be. You can't judge a person. You can't define them based on their mistakes. And the third thing you have to do, and this is tough, this is hard, is that you have to see yourself in them. Now, here's what I mean. Maybe you're not uh, addicted to anything. Maybe you are not dealing with any challenge. Man, that's great. That's fantastic. I mean, your life is going smooth as it can be. But let's assume that your life is not going great and you need help. You're struggling. You don't have the, the resilience to, to get out of the situation. You don't have the self-control and the self-awareness and the mental fortitude to help you to break the chains that have been holding you back. You know what you need? <laughs> you need someone to support you. You need someone to be actively involved in your recovery. Now, if you think of yourself as the one who's suffering and that person you're trying to help, you would help you. You would help you. You have to see yourself in that person. You have to say, I'm going to help me to be the best that I can be. I'm going to help me to overcome this struggle. I'm going to provide the things that I need. And if I don't have what I need, I'm going to facilitate the help that I need. That's how you have to think. That's how I have to think. Now, don't get me wrong. You can't be everything. You can't do everything. Sometimes you just have to be present. You just have to be there. You have to speak the right words because words create worlds. They create pictures. They create images. And in our mind, when we see that image, it triggers an emotional response in us. And this is why positive words are so important because you want a person to feel better than they feel due to the words that you speak. You have to choose your words wisely. But I would even take it a step further. Sometimes you should be silent. You know, experts say that communication is 30% verbal, 70% nonverbal. Just being present, just doing those things that let the person know that I'm here to support you. I got your back. Without even saying anything. It's just as powerful and sometimes even more powerful than the words you would speak. Don't condemn them. Don't, ref don't define yourself by your mistakes and support them. Those are my three things I want to share with you today. So if you're a leader, you're struggling with some sort of addiction, you know it's holding you back. It's that secret thing no one knows. You need to get that help. You need to get someone who can get in that trench with you and 
be there for you and remind you of who you really are, remind you of your value and help you to see a side of you that you can't see because the addiction is, is shrouding your vision and is, is preventing you from seeing your better self. Those are my three cues for you today. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you remember that you are not your mistake. I'm Stephen Garner. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue, let's go baby.